What's your reaction to the verdict? Well, justice was done today, and a criminal wearing a uniform is going to prison now. Uh, obviously, 18 of the counts, uh, you didn't get a guilty verdict. Uh, what, what do you attribute that to? Some of the victims obviously weren't, there weren't convictions for some of the victims. Sure. Well, in any given case, in any given trial, jurors are tasked with the responsibility of, of uh, determining credibility and looking to determine if we've proven beyond a reasonable doubt ele every element of the crime. And uh, obviously, in those counts, whether or not guilty verdicts came back, they determined that we didn't prove those cases beyond a reasonable doubt. Doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't believe the victims. It, believe, it, it may mean that we didn't uh, meet our burden in those counts. I want that to be clear. It doesn't mean that they didn't believe the victims. David, if there's a range of punishment, are you going to ask for some consecutive or any thought to that or why? Yeah, we want to assure this community that the Oklahoma City Police Department did the right thing, the Oklahoma County DA's office did the right thing, the jury did the right thing, and we're going to ask the judge to make sure that this defendant never sees a light of day, and we're going to ask him to run consecutive every count. I noticed there was some irritation uh, on the prosecution part. You guys really haven't addressed it because the trial was going on that, that you guys are responsible for an all-white jury, and that's just not the case. No, no, it's not the case. As a matter of fact, we wanted a good cross-section of, of our community, and uh, we purposefully did not kick anyone of color off the jury. Felt that everyone would have been an appropriate juror in this case, and the defense, were, that was the, that, they were the, the, uh, the team responsible for kicking the African-Americans off the jury. And as a matter of fact, we objected to that, uh, hoping we would uh, have a good cross-section of the community, and uh, uh, that objection was overruled. There were some jurors that were lying mm -hmm. in this case. Is that something that you've seen before? Oh, yeah, often. Let me tell you, we pull 12 people off the street who don't experience what police officers and district attorneys experience every single day in this courthouse. What we do is emotional because we're dealing with human beings. And we ask 12 normal citizens to come in and do the most difficult thing they'll ever do in their life, very likely. So um, I would wonder what was wrong with them if they weren't emotional or shedding tears, frankly, because these are human beings judging other human beings, and it's not easy. Do you expect an appeal? Oh, certainly. Yeah, there's, a, there's an appeal in every conviction. And in a case like this, there's going to be appeals. But this was a well-investigated case a well-prosecuted case. The judge, we believe, you know, ruled on both sides of, uh, uh, of the issues and, uh, and, and did it fairly. So we're not concerned about any, any reversal. Thank you, sir. And, and in terms of the deliberations, mm -hmm. uh, obviously as they stretched into the fourth day, did you r r remain confident in your case? We were confident in the investigation, first of all. We were confident in the case that was presented to this jury and realized that when you have uh, a number of victims and a number of counts, that if you have a jury that's actually doing its job, it's going to take them a while to get through it because they have to look at each and every individual victim, each and every individual count, and go through each and every, every, every element in those counts. So if they're doing their job, I can't see how they would have spent much less time than what it took them to get to a verdict in this case. Very meticulous jury. They worked very hard. I appreciate their duty and, and their service to this community. What would you say to members of the African-American community who may be distrustful of police? I, well, I'll tell you. I hope they understand that the Oklahoma City Police Department and members of the law enforcement community in this county and the Oklahoma County DA's office will stand up for any person any person, I don't care what they look like, where they go to church, what God they worship, or how much money they make, we stand up for people in this community. The Oklahoma City Police Department proved that, and the Oklahoma County DA's office proved that. And I'll tell you, my experience in this county as a whole, that's the way we treat people in this county, across the board. And so the African American community, I'll say this to them as well, I appreciate you trusting us, and standing down, and making sure nothing foolish happened during the investigation of this case and during the trying of this case. You trusted us and we appreciate that. The Oklahoma City Police Department did the right thing and so did we, and you trusted us to do it. And I hope you know that we will continue to do that. Thanks, David. All right, thank you.